Euh, non, 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 arrête-toi. Ils peuvent zipper ça là. Là, là on n'entend rien, tu sais, j'ai un, ah ouais. un truc au-dessus ah ouais. de moi, la zik, il faut qu'il la dégage. Excuse-moi, pardon. Est-ce que c'est possible le soit de mettre en sorte de la musique juste au-dessus, soit de la couper pour voir quelque chose comme ça Well, JJ Johansson from Sweden I've released eight albums and two soundtracks. Uh, my first record, Whiskey, was released back in 1996, and uh, already on my first album, I gained a lot of success in France and Portugal, Spain, and later. After that, it kind of started growing in both Asia and South America and North America. Uh, I make some type of folk music influenced a lot by jazz and uh, soundtracks. I used to be really into the Hitchcock films, like the Bernard Herrmann soundtrack for the Hitchcock films. But uh, I also adore Ennio Morricone in the end of the 60s, early 70s. I like a lot of the French guys, like Michel Legrand, Francis Lay. Some of the dance blues soundtracks are great. I think, I think in the beginning of my recording career, I. I was not really, I mean, I, I didn't really know how to sing, to say, uh, and that, I wasn't sure of my voice at all, so it was natural to kind of hide it behind a lot of drums and a lot of arrangement and production, and, uh, but for every album I've done, I feel my voice is getting better and my writing skills are getting better, so, and the better I, the more confident I feel with my voice, the that also gave me the confidence not to have to hide it behind a lot of drummings and uh, arrangement. But then again, drummings are fun, so I'm, I'm going to bring back a lot of drums next record. So. <laughs> Your product here. I need to be alone to be able to, to produce and to work and to write. But uh, I can't say I prefer to be alone, but it's a, it's a ne necessary thing. Yeah, I need to be that. But of course it's fun and nice to be with my friends and with my family. But, uh, I, but I also need to be alone to be able to be productive. So, uh, so yeah, I, I need both. I need both. Your product here. You know, I have reached most of the goals that I was hoping for as a kid and I don't really, I never really put up too big hopes because that makes the possibility that I'm going to be disappointed if I don't reach that goal. So I, I try to stay blank and neutral in front of the future and because that's going to leave me being positively surprised when things are moving on. I mean, I can imagine making more soundtracks in the future. I'm, I've already started the writing process for my next album. And we're going to continue. We have a big tour left. I mean, this tour is going on until March next year. And then we're going to go into the studio to start recording again. And uh, I... Uh, I'm gonna just continue making music. It's uh, that's the, yeah, and soundtracks. And uh, I enjoy doing more. Uh, maybe I'm gonna do more films if that's possible. Not only videos, but try to make longer films. Francoise Hardy, beautiful word. <laughs> beautiful woman. She came backstage after my first concert in France. I was so amazed. I was such a fan. So that was really strong. And Jane Burke in, in contacted me and wanted my autograph back, back in 97. No. <laughs> that was also very strong. I never met her. But she wanted the autograph? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I never met her, but uh, we had a little contact like that. It must be a surprise. That, that was fucked up, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did you join? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your time. Thank you.